Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here, continuing to cook up this NBA action, man. Y'all know we do on the Jam Session. We cook up every single game, every single day. Yesterday, hey, we hit another NBA player of the day, man. Shout out the Indiana Pacers. Boy, was that a sweat. They was down pretty big early in that basketball game, but fought all the way tooth and nail to the end and got the cover, which we care about. Uh, we've hit back-to-back. -back. Looking to hit our third straight tonight, man. You guys can scoop that play up today over at Pick Dogs Premium. Much better card tonight than it was yesterday, man. We have 10 games today, and y'all know the drill. We're going to cook it up and try to smash it per usual, man. We went 1-1 one and one officially last night. I had the Lake Show as my other play. I had it, of course, before the Anthony Davis news. I tried to tell you guys yesterday I was thoroughly surprised to not see him on the injury report, and I should have been because he ultimately was ruled out out and the lake show just couldn't get the hawks i was kind of surprised to see that happen i really was but it happened um y'all saw Braun boy <laughs> he was gonna go off in that post game interview they held him back <laughs> that's all right king hopefully they get you some support here at the deadline we'll see we'll see um but hey it's a money making wednesday really nice card 10 games on it we're finna cook it up and try to smash it per usual i appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that tune in and watch this video. If you appreciate the content that I do, all I ask is that you smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as I always say, man, if you rocking with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter all day long. There's a link for that in the description below. And of course, I have premium plays over at the site, including that NBA play of the day. But you guys can hop on something long term, a three day, seven day monthly yearly seasonal however you want to do it at pick dogs premium you can do it when you hop on one of those you get every single play that i release every single sport but for my bigger betters out there the guys that love betting the nba specifically um nightly you can join my all access club man the information for that is in the description below i'll go more in depth about that at the end of the video if you guys are really interested about that but hey money making wednesday Let's cook this shit up, man. And without further ado, let's hop right into tonight's NBA action. All right, man. Let's do it. First game up, we got your Chicago Bulls out on the road facing the Charlotte Hornets. Hornets, four and a half point home dogs here in this one. I think the line pretty much tells us everything we need to know. It's not a great spot for the Bulls. Um, I don't trust them laying this number. Hell no, nah, not on the back end of a back-to-back -back after losing to Toronto. I mean, Charlotte, they're a bad team. Of course, we know that. They're one of the worst in the NBA. They've been beat up on by New York, Utah, and Houston, and Detroit um, in their last four games. But I really believe tonight's the night. They hope and possibly win this game. Um, does that mean I'm betting this thing? No, it doesn't. The Bulls have owned the Hornets thus far this season. They've won all three meetings, uh, won all three fairly comfortable as well. 11-point win, 13-point win, 7-point win. Still, I'm not looking to lay points with the Chicago Bulls on the back end of a back-to-back -back on the road. Had to leave Chicago, now heading to Charlotte. Um, Charlotte, they're f fairly comfortable at home. It's their fourth straight home game. Triple revenge spot at the crib. I know, I know, I know. But I really believe Charlotte has a legitimate shot to win this game outright. I want the four and a half in my back pocket. Give me the Hornets here in the first game of the day. Next game up, we got the Detroit Pistons out on the road facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavs rolling, laying 12 and a half. Um, we had the Cavs as our play of the day in their last game as they beat up on the Los Angeles Clippers, thank you, Cleveland. And it's Cleveland for me here as well. Detroit, yes, they have been a pretty decent cover team here recently, but they've been at home. And coming off the pretty significant homestand, now out on the road facing a Cleveland team who is red hot, and we really like betting Cleveland at home in Cleveland. I think Cleveland just does what they do best, beat up on bad teams. Uh, Cleveland is getting healthy as well. Um, it's kind of scary because they were playing really well, not healthy. Garland's back, Mobley's back, um, or Garland's game time decision, sorry. But I believe he's back. Um, yeah, man. Cleveland, I know they haven't necessarily blown out Detroit this season. In the two meetings, they did win both, an eight-point win and a nine-point win. 
this is a woodshed, I think, in my in, in my estimation. I really do. They're just playing well. They're playing the much better basketball, and we've seen them beat up on the teams they're supposed to. So no reason to doubt them here, in my opinion. I know the Pistons have been fairly decent against the number recently, but coming off the homestand, this should be a spot where the worst team in the NBA just gets smashed. So not overcomplicating it, man. Cleveland playing well. No reason to doubt them. They should blow the doors off of Detroit. Next game up. Speaking of the Clippers, they're laying 11.5 on the Washington Wizards. This line actually is going up. I see some 12s starting to pop up and things of that nature. I kind of want to wait until the very last second and take the Wizards. You guys already know I love fading the Clippers. The Clippers have been arguably the best team since January. They arguably be, they were the best team in January, arguably, the Los Angeles Clippers. All that said, they're still five games above 500. You know, they're, they were covering. They had a nice stretch of covering basketball games. But I don't know. But what's their motivation to come here and blow the doors off of Washington? I know Washington at home has not been very profitable. I'm well aware of that. We've been betting Washington mainly on the road. That's where Washington has been uh, making us some money thus far this season. Washington, they won back-to-back. -back. I, I Granted, I know it was San Antonio and Detroit. I think they compete is basically all I'm saying. And I don't see an avenue where the Clippers just come in here, balls to the wall, and, and try to blow out the Wizards. Can they? Most definitely. Should they? Probably. Do they? I don't think so is all I'm saying. This is probably like a seven- Six-point win for the Los Angeles Clippers in just a non-motivation, random road game against the opposite conference way across country. It's just not a great spot to be laying double digits with the Clippers is all I'm saying. West Conference team way on the other side in, in D.C. Uh-uh. No, sir. I can't lay double digits here. Give me Washington plus the points. They might get them out right. Next game up, we got the Sacramento Kings out on the road facing the Miami Heat. Heat laying one and a half at the crib. This is an interesting game. The, the Kings are definitely playing the better basketball. Miami is free falling. Um, these boys have just been terrible. I hate catching falling knives, but I'm catching this one, man. I'm going to catch it here. Bounce back spot at the crib for the Miami Heat. That's all I got here, in all, in all honesty. If you like Sacramento, I'm not telling you don't bet Sacramento. I'm telling you, personally, I'm just betting Miami in a bounce back spot at home. They're not They're not going to be on this losing streak for forever, and they're going to break it at some point. At home here, where they're finally getting healthy, this should be a spot where they get it done. It should be a spot where they get it done. The Heat are not nearly as bad as what they've been recently. So, and uh, Sacramento on the road, small dog, small favorite. Nah, ew. Um, that's not my type spot. I know that's been a lot of people's spots uh, to take Sacramento. I just, me personally, I don't like betting Sacramento, especially not in this style spot. Um, when I expect Sacramento to, to do anything is when they usually don't. And then they do when you least expect it. Or at least that's the case for me. Um it's Miami here, man. Bounce back spot at the crib. That's what I'm saying. Like, I really don't have any firm reason to take Miami other than the bounce back spot. Like, yes, the Kings have been the better team. Miami has been terrible. I, I'm aware of all that. But if they're going to bounce back, it could be and should be tonight, in my opinion, catching a falling knife. I know. But I like the heat in this one at home, at the crib. Next game up, man, we got the Pelicans laying two and a half on the Houston Rockets. Hmm, Rockets, 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 home dogs, Pelicans. Let's start there. These, we were just talking about a team free-falling. Pelicans free-falling as well, man. They've lost four of their last five. Um, looked like they were going to finally break that streak and when they had a nice lead over Boston. Saw that lead wither away, lost there. Got blown out by Milwaukee. Got beat up on by the Thunder Buddies. I haven't liked what I've seen from New Orleans. And the thing is, they've lost both meetings this far this season to the Houston Rockets. Granted, um, the first one was in November, 104-101 in Houston. 
And the second one was in New Orleans, really not that long ago, the 23rd of December. In New Orleans, Houston came in there and beat them, 106-104. Houston, what have we said about this team all season? They're a night and day team. They're really not that complicated of a team to figure out. On the road, straight fade. At home, money-making team. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, I'm on Houston at home at the crib. They've beaten them twice this season. They've been much better here recently. I don't like what I've seen from New Orleans. Uh, Houston at home is where we have liked to bet them this season. We've made money betting them. They're currently 16-8-1 against the number at home this season. Um, that's 66% against the number. Straight up at home, the Houston Rockets, they are... What are these boys straight up? 17 and 8 straight up at home. I got to take the Rockets home, dog. I got to. Um, New Orleans not playing well right now, and I don't necessarily see this as the get right spot. Um, the, they've been a, the Rockets have been a thorn in their side all season. Now the Pelicans are on the road in San Antonio next game. That should probably be the get right spot. Then they got the Raptors. Then they got the Clippers, the Lakers, the Blazers, the Grizzlies, the Wizards. They're going to have a stretch of games where they're going to be just fine. Tonight's just not the night, in my opinion. Give me Houston. Um, I think they keep it rolling. Uh, I know that um, I know that on paper the, the Pelicans seem like the better team, but not the way they've been playing recently. I like what I'm seeing from the Rockets think they continue to get it done at home. Next game up, man, we got my favorite team, the Dallas Mavericks. They're getting 13 and a half at, out on the road against the Minnesota Timberwolves, a.k.a. the House of Disappointment. Everybody's out for the Mavericks. Let's start there. Luka not playing. Derek Lively not playing. Kyrie Irving not playing. Uh, Dante Exum not playing. Ugly injury report for my Mavs, hence why the line is so big. Short, sweet, simple. I'm taking my Mavs, though. Is it going to be a premium? Probably not. Do I really like the Mavs in this spot, though? In all seriousness, I do. I really, really do. Um, hard, I trust Hardaway. I trust Hardy. Hardy, I was at the Mavs last game against the Magic. Hardy was 8 for 9, 20 points in the first half, bro. Bro was hooping. Now he's going to have the ball in his hands. He's a really good young guard. He just doesn't get a whole lot of touches because he's behind two of the best guards in the NBA in Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. So um, I think he's going to be able to come in here and run the team. Grant Williams, um, you know, Josh Green and Grant really didn't have great games last game. So I know they're going to be hungry to get the touches today. The T-Wolves, they just haven't been great against the number at home. Let's call a spade a spade. They've been in the house of disappointment. Yes, they do win games. Yes, they, they have the best record in the, in the West. But they're not a money-making team. 23-22 20, 20, and 2 against the number thus far this season. And at home, it's not like they've just been this dominant money-making machine. Um, at home, let's see. Let's pull it up. These boys is 11-8-2 against the number at home. So, you know what I'm saying? So 50-50. They they're they're fadeable at home. And it's mainly been at, like, these huge numbers. I just don't trust Minnesota laying huge numbers. Should they win the game? Of course. Are they the better team on the on the floor tonight? Of course. Um, but does that mean they go in here and win this game by 15 points? No, sir. Um, so, I'm taking my maths tonight. I am. Is it going to make my premium side? Probably not. Is it my top bet tonight? Of course not. But do I think these boys really do have a legitimate shot to come here and compete? Yes, I do. Do I think Minnesota might be overlooking them because all the main guys that are out? Yes, I do. Sneaky spot here. I'm going to take the Mavs plus the points in my back pocket. Next game up, man. We got the Orlando Magic laying four and a half on the San Antonio Spurs. Spurs, they've been high recently, especially against the number that you see they're pretty much creeping back up to 500, 23 and 24 ATS. The thing is, Orlando is – the second best ATS team in basketball, right behind the Oklahoma City Thunder Buddies. Um, even the game I was at last game, I, the Dallas Mavericks, they lost that game, but they covered. The short number at four and a half. The Magic just find ways to cover point spreads. And here tonight, I just think they're the much better basketball team. 
in attendance for their last game they played. Boy, first half, I really like what I saw from Paolo was hooping. Wagner was hooping. Wagner's, the other Wagner was hooping. Um, things kind of changed in the second half when Jonathan Isaac left the game. Uh, the Magic were really missing his defensive tenacity. But I think that's not the case tonight. In that game, Luka just took over. You know what I mean? One of the top three players in the league, in my opinion. Luka just took over. Thing is, San Antonio don't have one of them type players. This is a game where the Magic are just the better team. And this is a game where I just trust the Magic to win this game. And I think the Magic win it fairly comfortably. So I'm not even overcomplicating. The thing for today is I'm not overcomplicating anything. I'm taking the Orlando Magic, the better team. Um, should be a get-right spot for them against a team they are just head and shoulders better than. Give me Orlando, the second-best ATS team in basketball. Next game up, we got the Denver Chicken Nuggets, the defending champs out on the road facing our favorite money-making team, the best ATS team in basketball, the Oklahoma City Thunder Buddies. Here's the thing about this game, bro. I really, excuse me, I really can't give you guys what you want to know because this injury report is disgusting. Like, A, for Denver, Nikola Jokic, game-time decision. All right, we need to know if Jokic is playing. All right, the Thunder's injury report. Oh my God, Jalen Williams out, Isaiah Joe out, Chet Holmgren game time decision, Dort game time decision, Shea game time decision. What are we supposed to do with this? You know what I mean? As I sit here right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna act like everybody plays. If everybody plays, y'all know where I'm at. I'm on the Oklahoma City Thunder buddies at home at the crib. The Nuggets, they are just a fade on the road. At home, Denver, they go stupid, dummy, crazy. On the road, they're just a fade. Just is what it is. Um, we've known about that for the last two seasons, and I think the same thing just holds true. Again, this is me expecting everybody to play. Right now, currently, everybody's up in, up in the air. The line seems to indicate right now that most of the guys for the Thunder are going to play. Um... Dort, Shea, and Chet, I'm expecting to play. And if they do, I like the Thunder Buddies. If they don't, I'm going to update you guys on Twitter as soon as I find out anything. So, fair? I think that's fair. And I'm expecting Jokic to play as well. But this is expecting. I can't. I'm not a doctor. I'm, <laughs> I don't. You know what I mean? So, I'll let you guys know as soon as I find out anything. I'll let you guys know for real, for real. Follow me on Twitter. Because um, this, I believe, is the best game on television tonight. But... A lot looming over this game. The Thunder lead the season series 2-1. to one. Um, The Nuggets won the first game of the season, 128-95 in Oklahoma City. And then the Thunder have won back-to-back. -back. They won both games in Denver, 118-117 and 119-93. I think they get them third straight time. Not, I don't think the Nuggets come into their building and get them again. I just don't see it happening. Um, so, again, I want to see the injury report, though. I got to see the injury report. Next game up, got the Phoenix Suns out on the road in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, three-and-a-half-point home dogs in this one. I'm taking Brooklyn home dog. The reason I'm taking Brooklyn home dog is I just think there's value fading Phoenix more often than not. They're still one of the worst ATS teams in basketball, 17-28-2. Brooklyn, they, I like what I saw from them last game. I can see the morale starting to change a bit for Brooklyn. For a while there, boy, it was just... The vibes was not high in Brooklyn. But now, I'm starting to see the tide turn. It's also a terrible spot for Phoenix um, on this last leg of this very long road trip, their fifth game um, of this road trip. This is the fifth home game for the Brooklyn Nets. Like, the spot for me here just yells Brooklyn. Um, Brooklyn, where have we mainly trust them against the number at home? Back-to-back um, -back home wins over Utah, Houston. I low key think it's the third straight tonight. We'll see. Um, but this one was not, not that complicated. Got to fade Phoenix on this last leg of this terrible road trip. And uh, Brooklyn comfortable at, at home at the crib off of two straight wins. Should be hungry to stack a third and try to get back into things in the East. Last game of the night. We got the Milwaukee Bucks laying 10 and a half on 
the Portland Trail Blazers. I'm laying it here with Milwaukee. I hate laying points with Milwaukee, but I think tonight's the night. So we saw them lose Doc Rivers' first game. Now, this is a game they probably come out and hoop for them and just blow out a team and their head and shoulders better than. And that's my story. Um, Portland's been decent against the number recently. Milwaukee's been terrible against the number. I wouldn't be surprised if Portland covered the game. I promise you I wouldn't. But it's just a bet on the spot for me. Like, Doc has to come in here and show that he's not Adrian Griffin. And you know what I mean? He has to try to change some things. They were The Bucks were winning games. The concern was not them winning games while they fired Griffin. It was how they were doing it necessarily. And um, I could see this as a spot where the Bucks just have their foot pedal to the metal full game and just take a bad team behind the woodshed. So I like Milwaukee here. Specifically betting the spot. Usually I hate laying these type of numbers with the Bucks, But tonight, I actually think they get it done. So in our last and final game of the night, give me the Milwaukee Bucks laying the huge number. And that's going to conclude this episode of my NBA Jam Session. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that tune in and watch this video. If you appreciate the content that I do, all I ask is that you smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as I always say, man, if you rocking with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter all day long. There's a link for that in the description below. And, of course, I have premium plays over at the site. Money Making Wednesday, man. You guys can hop on my NBA Play of the Day. We've hit back-to-back -back on it. Looking to go for our third straight tonight. You guys can hop on something even longer term. I offer three-day, seven-day, monthly, seasonal, yearly, however you want to do it, man. You can do it over at Pig Dogs Premium. When you get one of those packages, you get every play that I release, every single sport. For the guys that specifically love betting the NBA and love kind of betting the NBA big nightly, for my bigger bettors out there, man, join my all-access club. The information for it is in the description below. Text the number. We'll figure out a time to talk and figure out if the package is for you. We've had a tremendous season in the all-access club, and we're just trying to keep the momentum rolling forward there. The reason the all-access club is so beautiful at the website is, Every game is weighted the same. My NBA play of the day is weighted the same as my fourth favorite NBA play on the day. In the all-access club, that's not the case. Um, so you guys are able to see about how many units to put on a, on a game and we're turning a really nice profit with that system. The system at the site is beautiful as well. This one is just a little more catered to the guys that want a little more hands-on. Um, and a little more access to what I'm offering. The guys that have asked me for that next level premium service. So... If you think that's for you, text the number below. Figure out a time to talk and figure out if the package is for you. But, hey, I appreciate all you guys, man. I really, really do. My all-access club members, my regular premium members, my guys that just tune in and watch the video every day, my commenters, the guys that like the video every day, the guys that don't say anything, that just watch, my haters. I appreciate all you guys, man. You, All of you are my motivation. Let's smash this shit per usual. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs. See y'all soon. I'm out of here.